right at the same place where Argentina won its first battle against the European imperialism back in the 19th century. Several political parties and social organizations staged a massive demonstration against the unbridled capitalism of the 21st century. Demonstrators voiced their support to the government in the struggle with the U.S. hedge funds and decried the pressures from Western world powers. We cannot allow that international and domestic financial speculators bypass our sovereignty and our political, economic and legal independence. We will not permit any foreign legal system to impose as a ruling based on shady interests. The political forces claim the government must give top priority to the payment of social assistance services and leave aside the use of state resources to settle the debt with those U.S. creditors that seek irrational high profits at expense of the hunger of the poorest sectors of the society. There are many criminal financial groups around the world whose goal is to break the will of the countries. Forces of domination are not only military but also economic. After a meeting at the U.S. High Court, Economy Minister Axel Kutzloff ratified the country is willing to repay its credits. However, he also underlined that the payments must be done in a sustainable way for the country and not subjected to economic adjustments or cutbacks. We will stand by our country's historical responsibility and won't subscribe any agreement that undermines the future of the Argentine society. The decision of the U.S. judge is abnormal, unprecedented and unfair. This is the second time in less than 15 years that Argentina is faced by the international neoliberal capitalism. In 2001, the people took to the square and forced President de la Rue out of office. Now it stands alongside with the government against the unbridled breed of the U.S. hedge capitals. Manuel Gifoni, Press TV, Buenos Aires.